By the way, times for all these videos and pictures are 12 hours off. If you might notice how, as you might notice how many of the broad daylight pictures indicate that it's the overnight, early morning hours, like 1 or 2 a.m. This camera has, I believe, been set 12 hours off. I'm not sure if it's 12 hours behind or 12 hours ahead, but it's telling time off sync, and it's saying it's 12 hours earlier or later, thereby pushing all the AMs into the PM and PM into the AMs. Uh, so this is the bathroom of the current studio locations of WLTN. I call it the WLTN apparatus because it's both an AM and FM signal that contain separate broadcasts in their own formats, but share the same call sign in the same studio location and the same owner. So I call it the WLTN apparatus. Now it can both be found on the FM dial, by the way. There's a repeater 98.5. Again, nobody knows that this is shooting a video, so they're all wondering who the heck I'm talking to. Somebody wrote sucks on the sign. <laughs> it's pretty hel freaking hilarious, but something I would never do. Certainly not to a sign that advertises my most favorite radio station, but if I didn't, I have plenty of radio stations I can't stand, particularly big, big corporate-owned ones. But you know what I do? If I don't like the station, I just change the channel. I think uh, many of these people, well, some people are disrespectful. Like, when I don't like a station, I just don't listen. But many people, they, they have to vandalize. I got enough problems already in my life, namely having conflict or misunderstanding of my parents' intentions, which makes me seem like an ungrateful brat. But then again, all I, I keep hearing you, you, you do this, you, and no, I'm surprised you would do that. I get a whole lot of, it's, I'm confused, I don't know what the deal is. The reason why I protest is not because I'm disrespectful. It's because I protest my parents because I'm confused. I don't know what the deal is. I'm looking for truth. But nothing will cheer me up more than a nice commercial formatted FM, commercial formatted full power FM radio station that serves the middle of nowhere and doesn't have a website. That's probably, probably, I can't get over the fact that my favorite stations don't have a website. It's probably one of my favorite parts about them. I saw, okay, so I basically look like a crazy guy. This is the schizoid talk. This camera is very indiscreet. It, nobody knows it's shooting a video. Uh, I save these videos as AVI files, by the way. They're still in standard edition. Or, they're still in standard definition, by the way, because I still have yet to have computer, a computer that is powerful enough to handle uh, high definition video. It, it won't play, it'll just get all, it'll black out, or you'll hear some audio and it might stutter. So. This video is being shot in standard definition, plus storage space is an issue. And this camera will shut off in five minutes, every five minutes if it's HD video. But the standard def videos give the camera a nice good 20 minutes before it shuts off. So this is the main street of a town that has a real nice radio station without a website. Uh, many of these businesses don't have websites, so that's pretty cool.
I'm just trying to aim up here, not at people, but just at businesses and stuff. My awareness of my surroundings could be better. Uh, what I'm doing now is just give live motion. So on my Walkman are, they have to be radio stations with no websites. They have to be without, they have to have no website, or I'm not going to listen to them. This camera says I have roughly 770 high def, or high quality pictures left at the 12 megapixel level. I never, that's probably why. But these numbers are never accurate because it could say I have 50 pictures left. I snap 50 pictures and it might say I have 17 pictures left after that. And so with 17 pictures on the indicator of how many I have left, I'll take 15 pictures and it'll go from 17 to 8. So the indicator really undershoots how much now if a radio station if you want to know what its logo looks like what do you do you probably log on to their website you go to their website and see what the logo looks like the video <laughs> if you want to know what the logo to a radio station looks like and you're curious dying of curiosity Basically, if you want to know what the logo to a radio station is, where do you, what do you do? You just log on to their website, and the logo should be there. Yeah, but what if the station doesn't have a website, but you want to know what the logo looks like? And you probably got to order a few bumper stickers or go to their studios or something. And I like that. I like it when, so if you're staring at the logo to the station without a website, you're looking at something that's harder to come by. Basically, a station not having a website makes the logo worth more. Because the number of options open to you to find out what the logo looks like goes down. And I think, I have a collection going, a folder I managed to save from the massive hard drive failure. It's called Logos for Radio Stations Without Websites. And that folder, this video, that folder is a collection of, of logos, fairly large sized, high quality logos for uh, commercial formatted radio stations that don't have websites. And there's no record of the logos on the internet. I just have them. Some people might not understand and they might get angry with me for doing that. But see, that rigidity, that rigidity and that, that unopenness to anything different is, if you base things on punishment, for wrongdoing and disobedience to strict rules and stuff. But you don't have enough, so you base too many things on punishment, but not enough on inspiring and keeping an open mind. You're going to get some resistance. I might have it all wrong. I might be a bratty, disobedient, but whatever. I can tell you. When I set foot in that motel room and got showed around today, I was happy. When I started hearing the station come in and the type of music they play, I was happy. And whenever I accuse people of not respecting what makes me happy, they try to take it off like it's played off like I'm being ungrateful. Or I'd like to have them see real problems in the world. They're missing the point. 
I didn't ask to be compared to the worst case scenario. Just because there are other people who have it worse off than me doesn't make it right to yell at me or accuse me of being ungrateful. That's manipulation. That's one of the reasons I don't really care for religion. Because people can show starvation and hunger around the world. I mean, are you trying to say that I'm inhumane enough to not care at all about how much hunger and suffering there is in the world? Not many people don't care one bit about that because not as many people out there are sick sociopaths. But, for not helping enough, people get accused of not being grateful enough or being selfish. Really? Well, does that mean that I deserve to be deprived of everything I want? Deprivation and punishment? That's, that's, it's no big deal. I'll be back home in time tonight. So let me go on this rant. So this video is about 60 seconds left, and the camera shuts off. <laughs> Everybody stares as Mark Smith talks to himself in the video. Yeah, my bedroom is a pigsty. But I'll tell you what, whenever I stay in motel rooms, the rooms are always practically as clean as they were when I got there. Because I follow the rule of always treat a motel room better than you would treat your own property. So, there's barely any crumbs. If I want to eat, I usually go outside of the motel room. I try not to leave a single crumb. Alright, this video is exactly 20 minutes in length. Now as it ends.